Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel and today we are going to see how to fix a stable diffusion not loading. Before get started, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel and stay updated on all our latest video. So let's get into the video. During installation, if any required file fail to download correctly or you will face stable diffusion not loading issue while uploading and generating the image file. So the stable diffusion is not loading because you may not given the admin permission during installation or the program may take more memory than is allocated or there might be an issue with the network connection and settings or one or more dependencies or module not downloaded and installed properly. So let's see the fix. If you are getting the error for the first time, the simple solution is restart the stable diffusion and web UI use dot bat file. Okay. So if the error occurs again, then the first thing is you need to uh, check your network uh, connection issue. So if you have any internet connection, then you will face the error. Since the file is too large to install, it takes two to three hours to install completely. If there is any internet error occurred during the installation, then it might lead to stable diffusion file not loading issue. Okay. So make sure you have a stable internet connection and fix it by switching to mobile data. Solution number two, disable VPN or Windows proxy setting. VPN connection or proxy setting blocks some files and requests by default due to some security reasons. So if you have enabled any VPN connections or Windows proxy setting, disable it and try again. If the error persists, then follow the solution number three. Follow the instruction on the error message. First, go through the error and follow any fixes specified in the message. Follow the direction in the error message and see if the error is fixed. If you found any module that doesn't exit, exit the error, then even if you have installed already, you need to remove it and reinstall it. Now you can download your image without any errors. Solution number four, run terminal as administrator. So stable diffusion refuses to load if does not have the admin permission. Whenever opening the terminal, right click on it and run as administrator. And also when you run the web UI user file, give the administration permission, right click on it and run as administrator. So that the, you won't face any unwanted errors by launching and generating the image in stable diffusion. The fifth solution is increasing the RAM memory and page file size. If image doesn't load properly or if you have a memory leakage or memory issue. So to increase the page file size, click on start, type run and type system.cpl and then press enter. Select the advanced options, click change in the virtual memory, clear the automatically manage page file size for all disks, checkbox if necessary, allocate the list of drives and choose the one containing your paging file, choose custom size and reset the initial and maximum size values to more significant numbers. Then click on set and select OK. So now restart the stable diffusion and try processing the uh, your image file. Now you can process without error. Solution number six, configure the YAML file and try again. So particularly those based on SD2 and SD2.1 have a configuration file called YAML file. They are useless without this configuration. They are generally available in the same download page as the model file. So you can find the YAML file in the link here. Just click on the link and it will redirect to the AM file and follow the instruction on readme.txt and configure the file. Now you can able to generate the image without any issues. If nothing above method works, then you need to remove and reinstall the stable diffusion file completely. Go to the official Git website, click on code and click on download zip file and then go to stable diffusion installation instruction website. Follow the instructions step by step carefully and reinstall it. Now you can launch your stable diffusion file successfully and load your favorite image. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for such videos. Thank you.